So I had an amazing conversation with my friend last night. And uh, after the conversation, it had me thinking, um, how do I get people on that same level of belief? How do I get that people on the same level of uh, just faith? You know, I think faith applies to more than just religious points of view or spiritual points of view. I think you need to have faith in yourself. And I think in this world today, a lot of people have no faith in themselves. You know, I don't know how to get people to blindly believe that they can do whatever the fuck they want to do. So many people want to do things, but then they, all they do is complain about what they have. They complain, they bitch, they moan, they don't do. So, you know, they say they want a different life, but yet they don't want to do anything to get that. And I've said that before, but it's like, it's just things I've noticed. Things I've noticed is a lot of people have too much, have a lack of humility, and they are too entitled, and it's like they feel like they shouldn't have to work hard. They feel like they shouldn't have to risk what they have just to get more. You know, they feel like they're, they shouldn't have to. But I'm telling you, you do have to if you want something different. Now, I know a lot of people that are in a much better situation in life than me, but yet are much more miserable than me. And it's because all day long, all they do is spend their day doing what their job asked them to do, what their parents asked them to do, what their parents expected of them. You know, um, we, we care too much what our friends think, we care too much what our family thinks, we care too much what social media thinks, instead of just taking the risk to chase our dreams. You know, chasing your dream gets looked at in a bad way in this, in this society we live in, because it gets, it gets looked at as crazy. But I think it's fucking crazy to me that people can do the same thing over and over and over again and expect that success is just gonna come up to them. And it's like, so I was watching this interview with Dean Graziosi. Um, Lewis Howes, um, it, was on, um, it was on his podcast, um, The School of Greatness. And it, it just had me thinking, you know, I've done um, research on his book. I haven't read um, Dean Graziosi's book yet, but I'm gonna be looking for the audiobook um, pretty soon here, if they have one available. But uh, because I would love to read it. Now, I've gotten a lot of information out of it without even reading it, though. Um, which is basically that there are habits that make people millionaires. There are habits that make uh, people shitty people. There are habits to why you live in the projects. And there are habits to why you live in a mansion. There are habits. And we like to sit here and blame you know, and, and, and talk shit about the rich people. We like to talk shit saying, oh, it must be nice to have that, or it must be easy, or whatever. And nothing in life is easy. Nothing in life worth having is easy. So, the way I look at it is, you know, I've talked about the habits thing before. I've talked about a lot of this before. But what I was, I don't know, what, what I was trying to figure out is a way to get people to believe in themselves enough to get to that point. Because I'm not at that point yet. But I love the fact that we live in a world where it's like I've documented my journey. So if I fail or succeed, it does not matter to me because I'm enjoying every moment of my life. So many people don't enjoy their life. They're so miserable. They always want more, they just want more. They feel like what they have is never enough. And you're right, it's never enough because you think it's never enough. You must think in abundance and you'll have abundance. You know, I don't think about money much, which is why I don't have it much, you know? Um, and, I, and this is something I realized about myself, me being honest with myself, thoughts create reality, I know this. So why is my mind not on money like it should be? If thoughts create reality, and I know this, then why is my mindset not on money? Why is it on, you know, other things? Mainly because money will not make me happy, the other things will. Money will come eventually. I'm not worried about the money. Right now, like, you know, a lot of people have complained about life. A lot of people, like, look at my situation and be like, you know, you're back at your mom's house. Like, shouldn't you have, like, 
Shouldn't she be worried about getting an apartment? Shouldn't she be worried about this, worried about that? Shouldn't she be worried about this? It's like, no, I shouldn't be worried about a goddamn thing. Worry is a misuse of the mind. I feel like what I should be doing, instead of worrying about the problem, think about the solution and focus all your mind on the solution. What is the solution? My solution, I don't know about your solution. My solution is writing the book I'm writing on the third chapter right now. My solution is making the beats I'm making. You know, my solution is making these videos. My solution is connecting with and meeting people through the internet and connecting and, you know, networking and making friends through the internet, like learning from people. My, my solution is reading audiobooks to empower myself with knowledge. My solution is to, you know, dedicate my life to learning so I can empower myself. Because the habits I have, the habits I had, were habits of a poor man. And I'm trying to get the habits of a rich man. That's why I feel rich, genuinely. Like, I don't understand when somebody's like, when somebody makes two grand a week or two grand every other week, whatever, I genuinely don't understand what the fuck you're worried about. Invest your money in something and change your life. Like, I don't, I don't know. There's so many people that make a thousand a week. A lot of people say, oh, that's not that much money. You know, living in today's world, that's not that much money. Bullshit. Cut out your fucking dumb habits. Stop, stop going to Starbucks. Stop going to McDonald's. Stop eating out. How about you buy food from, from a cheap place? Like go to Aldi's or go to Save A Lot. Go to somewhere where you can get cheap food instead of going to buy the expensive food. You don't need name brand food. As long as it's organic and natural, you're good. And nowadays, Aldi's has like cheap organic food for cheap. So it's like, you know, you just got to be smart with what you're doing with your money. And then a lot of people say, well, you know, well, I got to go to work. And it's like, well, what are you doing when you're not at work, is the question. You know, people say, oh, I gotta relax. No, you don't. I mean, it depends on how bad do you want this. Do you want to work for the rest of your life for someone else, or do you want to work for yourself eventually? You know, you might have to work for someone else for now, but look at it as a stepping stone, as a, as a, it's stairs, you know, the, the job you're at is a stair to get to the next step, which will be quitting your job to start your own career, start your own thing, or do your own thing. Um, I gotta get going though, but I don't know, I just wanna figure out a way to get people on this mindset of believing in themselves, chasing their dreams no matter what. When all else fails and all else looks like it's gonna fail, they believe in themselves enough to keep going no matter what. If you keep going, you will succeed.